Raw Fuel TV is sponsored by Wheelsport, your snowmobile, motorcycle, and ATV specialist. All right, next step in the process is we're going to put the cover on. The one thing that we have to, uh, to look at and bear in mind is that the reverse uh, mechanism here, the yoke here, has to slide on top of the reverse gear just in this fashion here. So we're going to get started on that. So that took a good minute or so to do. However, patience was the key on that one. And we're able to visually test and see that the, uh, the reverse mechanism here is actually properly latched and uh, we should be good to go on this one. So the first bolt you want to put in is the long one in the center. Just uh, get it uh, kind of finger tight for now and snug it up. There's no need for it to be ridiculously tight. That just kind of pins the cover down. And then we want to get the bolts in around the outside. That's the next step. Next up, we're going to take our uh, synthetic uh, chain case oil and we're going to let her flow. So basically we've got about 500 milliliters here, which is approximately what, uh, what your machine is going to take. There is a, uh, an oil level checker here, but because we know it's 500 milliliters off the bat, we're not going to uh, go and deal with this whole mess that this is going to create. We're just going to pour 500 straight in. Now we're doing something unholy here and we're shoving some Polaris oil into this skidoo and that's not because we think it's better that's simply because that's what we had lying around the shop. So for warranty purposes we're not going to show you the VIN number on this <laughs> in case it does blow up. So we're just going to hook this linkage back up again Next up, we've got our, uh, our four bolts which hold the plastic cover on. Just gonna get those started by hand and Jesse is gonna finish them up. All right, next up we have the reverse lever shroud. Engage the lever, slide it in. And then we want to slip the hook over, close the lever, and we're going to get this bolt shoved into there. Next, next few little items that we got to just sort out, we just got to button the electrical back up. Just want to plug here. And that fuse is just going to plug back in right under there. All right, next step to go in, we're going to shove the battery in. And along with that, we're going to use the cover to hold that all in place. We're just going to bolt on the positive terminal of the battery. We've got the negative terminal connected already. All right, second last stop for this gem. So we're going to put this muffler back in. The one thing we've got to do is we've got to get this tab inserted into this gray grommet. So just ensure that this tab slides right into the middle of that gray grommet. All right, we're taking our luggage with us. So we're going to mount this suitcase into the machine. We're going to start with pipe, followed by the grommet, followed by the tail going in. So we're going to landmark the pipe and we're going to hook in the pipe. Then we're going to have a look-see, you see the grommet, we're going to slide that in, that's lined up, ready to go. And the tail's going to go in and it's all going to drop in together just like that. Last component to this is we're just going to uh, tighten up our two springs, one, two here, and we're going to go up onto the motor side and we're going to do our last two springs, here and here, 
and that's going to button down the rest of this unit. What's the last step there, Jesse? Just our wings, man. Well, Jesse, we've got it all buttoned up together. What are the things that we need to be looking for? Well, the first and foremost is make sure your little bolt tray's empty. If there's any left in there, you can put them in the garbage or pull everything apart again. It's your choice. Really though, what we want to check is make sure that our reverse gear is going to engage. So we'll start the sled up and just make extra sure the track's going to spin backwards, everything's good there. And then just take a quick peek for any uh, anything that looks like it may leak or uh, any cracks, anything like that. that. Sounds good. Well, thanks for your help. Appreciate it. It's a nice jacket. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> So we're going to get this thing fired up, just make sure the reverse gear works and uh, make sure there's no leaks anywhere. job maybe a uh, three on ten on the finger scale as difficulty uh, goes but uh, it took us what about an hour or so to get that uh, plugged yeah, away? About an hour, hour and a half. Leave yourself a little bit of time. Take your time pulling things apart. Uh, sometimes parts can be a bit finicky getting out and uh, you know make sure you have all your nuts and bolts back together uh, in tight and good. So if you have any questions feel free to leave some comments in the comment box and we'll get back to you on that and uh, until then well we'll see you out on the trails. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, or check us out at www.rawfueltv.com.